Okay, welcome. We make the world's toughest mobile phones, and I'm a company named Sonom. We are an American company based in California. We've been uh, making uh, telephony products for people that work outside in rugged environments for 10 years. Uh, we've been building phones for five years. We make the world's toughest mobile phones. They are drop-proof, crush-proof, waterproof. You can run a car over them, up to a ton of pressure. They're totally submersible in water. Totally waterproof. What we did earlier this afternoon, What we did earlier this afternoon is we cemented a phone into a block of concrete. This phone. So, step forward. Just step forward. Come here for a second. So, I'm just showing you. Yes, this is still that phone is still operating. Yep. 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 So we cemented that into a block of concrete. So really what I'd normally do is take it to a car wash and power wash it and get it clean. Just you know, scrub it up and away you go. We make phones for people that do the dirty jobs. People that you just don't see until something goes wrong. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple of things about our phones. Totally submersible in liquid. Do you have a um, pair of tops? How much dry is in it? So, uh, what, you, what you're seeing here is, uh, is dry ice. You've got some real dry ice. That's minus 78 degrees Celsius, don't touch it or put in here. When we put it in the liquid, what it does is it sublimates and turns into a gas. That's why it looks like it's boiling. Uh, but what it does is it cools down the hot water that we put in there to give it, make this effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this really quickly. A little towel. Oops. Where's that little blue towel? Somewhere. Dry it off again. I'm trying not to breathe that in, sir. Okay. So I'll just give it a little wash. You need to get submerged in water uh, down to two meters or up to an hour. Is the latest. So it's, it's intended for you know our customers who. You know, work on building sites and they just keep doing that. 
and they chopped his phone into a bucket of water and saw into a trough. This phone comes with a nail. Guess that. So I need to need some assistance. Yeah, hold the phone. Did you want to go That's with a string. <laughs> Run your finger over the string. Heavily scarred. Mum. It's gorilla glass. It comes from Corning. It is very hard to scratch. It's not unscratchable. It's certainly not unbreakable. But it is extremely hard to break. Uh, and uh, most of our customers, they do rough and tumble things with their phones. They have uh, their they're working on building sites and they've got tons of abrasive things in their pockets and it abrases and scratches the screen it's just by literally putting the phone in the pocket. So uh, that's the purpose of Gorilla Glass. So what have we done? We've done the toss, we've done the swim, we've done the a little bit of the crush, we've done kind of power with the power of Britain here. Uh, we've done the um, I'm going to show you the concrete. Linda. Ah. Funny you should ask Steve to say that, so will it be just to put our phone to the test literally in the last week? And I didn't pay him to say that. That's what we achieved it. You might have just looked at the phone. It bleeded uh, to the point that it took a bit of the rubber off. Uh, compare the iPhone to the uh, Sonic phone in the visa. When you took it out, the phone ran. They took out the iPhone, just to get your eyes on Oh, now, maybe I can, perhaps I should do one further demo. Does anyone here have an iPhone? Yeah. I have a look at this. Can I pause? Look at How do you make the world's most valuable company? You make a consumer electronics device that's tall and put glass on two sides. It's a lovely piece of equipment, so I'm going to offer you the face off or the relay. The face off or the relay. What should he do, madam? Should he do the face off or the relay? The relay. So the relay starts with the long throw. <laughs> then we do the swim. <laughs> we do the car crush. We do the uh, cement and the block of concrete. We do the power ones. If you all find to survive past I will bow down to see you at the top. Are you prepared to take the down? <laughs> Does anyone here have a tough boat? Anyone have a 2700 uh, Samsung or a Motorola Defy? Yeah, he has one. What do you got there, sir? Oh, that's actually Is it a Motorola <laughs> Defy? No, 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 it's a no. It's a no, no, I ask you, does anyone have a tough boat? This is a story. From 40 sold in Australia and some other brand of tough boat. No? Okay. Uh, how about... Uh, you sir, what sort of phone did you have in your pocket? Someone else, yeah. who doesn't have an iPhone? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen here, sir, what sort of phone have you got? Oh, there, look, that's yours. You're getting this So what do you do for a living, sir? Yeah, yeah, so obviously a great brand. Sir, I'm going to offer you, he did the relay, I'm going to offer you the face-off. Face-off is like page fighting for mobile phones. I'm going to take page fighting. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to take your phone and I'm going to hit my phone with it. I'm going to take my phone and your phone with it. That's all we have a winner. If your phone can survive that, sir, Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Uh, that's it. There's nothing else to say, is it? Thank you.
Specialised again, uh, if you are in this business, we can show you this phone. The Sentinel is a, la is a lone worker, man down uh, phone. It has a GPS and an accelerometer. When you fall off the ladder, the phone knows it's fallen for a vertical distance or you're, you're a security guard, you get hit on the head. The phone's immobile for five minutes, a setting that you predefine. The phone sets an alarm, uh, alarm goes off, you, uh, your GPS coordinates are sent back to base and a phone call is made to initiate a rescue. You, you are, this phone is for people who work in really extreme environments or need occupational health and safety protection. Uh, when they get, they fall off their motorbikes or they get, you know, the trees fall on top of them in the forest and they're, and they're trapped, this is the phone that saves their life. And then finally, the uh, more specialized phone again is the um, Enduro Zone 1. That's an intrinsically safe phone. Does anyone know what that means? It means Correct, yeah. It's a phone that has very low emissions or spark uh, and it won't blow up a gas station. And, and when you think, oh, low spark, low explosion, free fire, what you immediately think of is oil and gas. But actually, one of the more, even more explosive environments, what's, uh, there's a question, what's a more explosive environment, the gentleman in the, uh, in the top here, what's a more explosive environment uh, than uh, uh, a petroleum station? Uh, right. that involves a food product. Flour. 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 Gentlemen here, exactly right. Aspirated flour in, uh, in a confined space in a large volume is highly, highly explosive. So food manufacturing, uh, sewage treatment plants, uh, guys working with sewers, uh, petrochemical, pharmaceutical, there's lots of need in Australia mining for a, a intrinsically safe rose bark product. So, once again, camera GPS, 
entry level phone the cheapest, line worker man down phone and low spark phone. Uh, as you move, do not arrange the order of price. That's these are the, sort of the mainstream products, 4.99, 3.69 retail. These two products haven't launched yet in Australia, but this product will be $1,700 retail. Uh, it's a competitive product, more than probably three grand. Uh, this product we haven't set a price on yet, but it'll be more expensive again with Exile. Uh, but here's the thing, sir. You're in the forest. Trimming the trees is the real story. Guys trimming trees, they drive into the forest, the guys in a truck, in the truck's got a GPS, they're in a gang of 20, they all go into different places. He's trimming, he's just, he's the, the, as the tree grows, they will trim off the tree to make the trunk straight. He trims the tree, trims the branch, and he doesn't see that that branch is holding up a dead tree, or a dead branch, and as he trims it, that falls on top of it. And what happened was, over here, he had his phone, his lunch, his change of clothes, keeping it nice and clean and dry because he didn't want to get it dirty or break it. And over here, the tree fell on That poor person, it took him a day to find him. They found the truck, they arrived at the truck and they said, Tree? It's dark, it's a forest. Which, which direction did he start to look for the guy? He was unconscious. Sadly, they had to survive about 18 hours. If, he, if he'd had a phone that set the alarm the minute he became a mobile, or 10 minutes after he became a mobile, or half an hour after he became a mobile, or set off an alarm on the impact, or set off an alarm that when he fell out of the tree, then he would have saved, that would have saved his life. That's, that's sort of a really, really extreme end of our business. But at the other end, we do a lot of business with builders and plumbers and uh, guys who drive trucks. Uh, our sweet spot security, construction, oil and gas, utilities, transportation. Uh, all of those are armed forces. Uh, first responders, we sell to the armed forces in a number of countries, we sell to the police in a number of countries, we sell to ambulance and rescue. Exactly, snow patrol. This is not a good question. This phone will, free, will, will handle um, being operated in temperatures down to minus 20. Enough to cost with the fire. People yeah. are lost in the snow, you know. Correct, yeah. Yeah, so so if you're wanting to know where you are, you're lost, you can use the GPS in this phone. If you're wanting to know where your workers are, you can use that phone to know where they are, why aren't they on site, uh, you can dispatch them job using the parts software for job dispatch job job dispatch and tracking. Uh, this is another good question. How far underwater can it go? We have we rate our phones uh, to two meters underwater for an hour. Uh, we shot a video at the um, Melbourne Aquarium in the last two weeks, which we should air in Australian TV with concern this month. Uh, which basically the professional divers swam the phone in the shark tank to seven meters in the absolute water. If you want to see it, I can show you. I've actually got my hand, my hand off camera. It's, amazing. it's not recommended. Uh, they operated the phone down there and you can't get a signal, but you can see the light was on. And obviously, I was going, mm -hmm. five meters, six meters? Excuse me. Uh, these phones uh, come and run Java. So, very easy. A whole range of application partners and a growing number of application partners doing fuel source for automation, doing tracking, doing job tracks, doing anything to do Any other questions? Any other tests? Uh, not in our road well, who knows? But, yeah, well, no, but let me ask you a question. Would you like to buy 10,000? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sell like 10,000. That's already an application. Hang it off there, 
we're a small company that builds phones that customers ask us to make. So if we have a sufficient number of people who want that, we can build it. That's all. Come see me afterwards. You may actually go to a car. Okay. It comes in any colour. I've got my GPS phone. Okay. You can have any it comes colour, in any colour, any it's colour black. you like, so long as it's either black or what we call yellow. Now we've got it, what's the yellow one? Oh, there, that was the yellow one there. So, have we got a spare tray? Let's do a... Um, Done all their drivers. Now we still got some. So I just do another lot of drivers. But the final thing I'm going to show you is anyone here own original one of the original Motorola phones? Yeah. You did, sir. Come on. Oh, no, the, original. No, the, no, the original, the very one of the very first Motorola phones. Mine's in eighty-one. What, what, what were they called? Brick. The what? Brick. What do they look like? Brick. Okay. So. I'm going to take you on a trip down memory lane. Here I have a phone. I have some concrete. What I'm going to recreate for you is what we call the Sodom brick. It's a phone in a brick. You can see I work in an office and don't make this many concrete bricks, but our, our customers work in environments where things fall on the floor, they're dirty, things break, they, uh, they just want to get the job done, they want tools that are reliable. That'll sit in about 15 minutes if it's ready to concrete. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sodom brick. Now in about, you can see that's not setting already. The phone I've put in this brick was the phone I had in the brick earlier today. If you want to come back in half an hour, I'll break it up for you again and show you again. Uh, Pretty okay, let's do a lucky draw. Uh, has everyone got their card or entered into a lucky draw? There's another one there. Just want to walk into the crowd and, and catch up anymore. Any more entrants for our winner phone competition? If you yeah. don't have a card, would you just write your name on a piece of paper? Yeah. 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 Here we go. Hey, write on, write on one of those. It's a good idea. I've got tons of those. Just write your name, mobile, and email. Here you go, here's. Anyone else need to write down their details or give us a card to enter the phone competition? You've got to draw a phone right now, $500 phone. You need it, sir. Someone else going in the draw? Oh, listen. Anyone else want to win a phone? Yeah. <laughs> you want to win a phone? Fantastic. Right, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
We have a very simple game, but it does have some rules. Yeah. Sir, did you get your card into the into the draw to win the phone already? Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen? Yeah. <laughs> uh, could, could you go over to the guy who's been making us coffee all day? Probably does. Probably not. Sorry. Thank you very much. I need Anyone else want to go in the draw to win a five? We're going to draw it right now. That phone is a Stupid question. I'll crack it with me here. <laughs> Who would want to have a look at it? Oh, here we go. Thank you for your attention and attendance. We really do appreciate that you take the time to see us here. Once again, we are Sonom. We're the world's toughest phone makers. We're an American company. We sell throughout Australia for distribution. And uh, if you can't find us, go on to sonomtech.com. Please uh, take a brochure if you like a brochure. Uh, and um, after the show, we'll Done? One and done? One more. One more coming. Here we go. Are you feeling lucky, sir? You have a lucky face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You never heard that before? All right. Okay. So, done that. You'd use it on the boat. The real McCoy. It's set in the concrete. I didn't let it set completely, just so you could see. It's the world's toughest phone. So, anyone here want a winner phone? Yes. 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 What's the name of the brand? Sony. I still can't hear you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw this until I have a really good sonnet, right? On three. One, two, three. Sonnet. One. It's not even trying. One more time. Really loud. I'm not gonna draw this fine. You can't go away until you give me a really good yell. One, two, three. Sonnet. Thank you very much for coming. All right. Here we go. To me again. Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> I've got one. Okay, just one? Yeah, just one. <laughs> Who's that? It is Dr. Boyen. Yeah, Dr. Boyen! Yeah. Yay! 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 From Brain Gate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, hold well on. Thank you for your warranty and discovery. Let's uh, grab a photo. Do you need a phone? Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah. let's come and take a photo with the posters. Uh, 